So don't just say, put it in salads. What do I do with the bok choy? Actually, that's getting a bit bitten there by some sort of beetly creature. I picked two yesterday, and they were lovely, mind you, but lovely looking, but I've just still got them in the fridge. I want a recipe for bok choy. Like I say, soup salads, yeah, stir fries. That's not a recipe, that's just... <laughs> Give us some good ideas how to cook this thing, please. I've got this batch here, and that little batch like coming on as well. So, how do I cook it? <laughs> got a friend that wants some of the strawberry cuttings. So I'm just writing the labels, because I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm going off what my mum said, keep them three years and then just discard the whole, whole lot and get a fresh batch. I might do that, but I might, just for the sake of the video, get some, but this year, definitely not. But I'm just writing, the names of them. <laughs> Look at the state of that man. It's like, it's like junior school writing. <laughs> Pop them in a bag <laughs> like that. No? And then four different bags because I've got four different flavours. And then just a little spray of water and pack them up and hopefully send them this, hopefully post them today and they'll get there. Man, look at all the bloody, you know what I mean? There's loads, to be honest, like, but hopefully it'll work. Hopefully it will work. I'm just gonna quickly tidy this. I'll just put it on fast because you've seen us tidy the kind of bottoms, but it just makes everywhere nice and tidy and doesn't encourage slugs and snails and puppy dog tails. bit tidy it just stops them you know like just don't give them an excuse to come and reach your, your brassicas so hopefully that'll do isn't that surprising actually that's a good how many for the compost you get i'm just gonna let me be it sorted down there as well oh it's starting a bit of a dank dark day to be honest if i'm honest Surprising how much you get of compost, but how much it like sinks and goes away. Because like it fills up and it just sinks down. And I haven't got that much actual wood, like brown in there, but it's not gonna stop us. While I'm here, I'm just gonna see if I can pull up some baby carrots for work as well. Oh look at that man. Don't want to pull too many because I want to. Well, look at that thing. Is that enough for a meal for a big lad? Don't forget to clean them as soon as you pull them. Then it, they go nice, they, they keep that nice colour. So, I mean, I'm quite chuffed with that. It's not that, they're in nice condition, you know. 
I want to like, try and eat like every day now. This way, I'm going to try and you know, sometimes you can, it, but something from the garden. Maybe I'm doing it the wrong time of year as well. But there's, there's quite a bit of stuff you can still pick. And with me and Steve doing the carrots and the lettuce through the, the window, hopefully we can still, I can do this for a little bit longer. Just gonna nip and get some of that cabbage. Well, kale, should I say. Rain's coming. <laughs> so there's carrots and a little bit of cabbage. I've got half a cauliflower from when I picked the other thing. Man, have you heard this rain? No car. <laughs> I can't walk home in this. Cut it short. I was going to plan to do a few things around the hut, but what a bugger. Anyway, look after yourselves. Take good care.